Jerome Bruner was an American psychologist and educator. He developed theories on perception, learning memory, and other aspects of cognition in young children. He had a strong influence on the American educational system and helped launch the field of cognitive psychology. Jerome Bruner was born October 1, 1915 in New York, New York. His parents were Jewish immigrants and his father worked as a watch manufacturer and died when Bruner was only 12 years old. Bruner was born blind from cataracts. He underwent surgery at two which gave him limited vision. He wore thick glasses throughout his long life. He died at the age of 100 on June 5, 2016. Bruner studied at Duke University in 1937 and also Harvard University in 1941, where he received a doctorate in psychology. He returned to Harvard University to teach. He taught at the University of Oxford and the New York University School of Law as well. In his lifetime, Bruner authored 44 books, which included The Culture of Education and The Process of Education. In his research on the cognitive development of children, he proposed three modes of representation. A mode of representation is the way in which information or knowledge is stored and encoded in the memory. The three modes are inactive, learning through movement or action, iconic, learning through images or icons, and symbolic, learning through abstract symbols. Inactive is a mode of representation that appears first. It involves encoding action-based information and storing it in our memory. For instance, a baby might remember the action of shaking a rattle. The child represents past actions through motor responses. After dropping the rattle, the baby continued shaking his hand to produce sound. The next mode of representation is the iconic stage. This stage is where information is stored visually in the forms of images. For example, when learning a new subject, it is often helpful to have diagrams or illustrations to accompany verbal information. The symbolic mode of representation develops last. This is where information is stored in the form of a code or symbol. In the symbolic stage, knowledge is stored primarily as words, mathematical symbols, or in other symbol systems. This is an example of how one would learn math in the iconic stage versus the symbolic stage. Bruner's work suggests that a learner even of a very young age is capable of learning any material so long as the instruction is organized appropriately. This is in sharp contrast to the beliefs of Piaget and other stage theorists. Bruner opposed Piaget's notion of readiness. He argued that schools waste time trying to match the complexity of subject material to a child's cognitive stage of development. Bruner believed a child of any age is capable of understanding complex information through the spiral curriculum. Spiral curriculum is information being structured so that complex ideas can be taught at a simplified level first and then revisited at more complex levels later on. Subjects will be taught at levels of gradually increasing difficulty. Bruner suggested that learners construct their own knowledge by organizing and categorizing information using a coding system. Bruner believed that the most effective way to develop a coding system is to discover it rather than being told it by the teacher. The idea of discovery learning implies that students construct their own knowledge for themselves. The advantages of discovery learning include students being actively engaged, self-motivation, helps students with the development of creativity and problem-solving skills, and provides the opportunity for students to have fun. The limitations of discovery learning include needing more time to learn, teachers not being properly trained, and the expected benefits don't show up in regular achievement tests.